I was gonna mention this one because I was like, oh, it's just seen here in the in the um, Instagram feed. Mm. Oh, it's, I love this one. This is yeah. This is awesome. this is when I was starting to feel a call to paint because I was like, this one, I could, I just feel like it's gonna make history. Mm. Um, the the, the thing here is I, I have this really nice sketchbook. I, I don't know if you guys can see that little moleskin sketchbook. And I don't like using them because they're so expensive that you don't want to just screw up stuff. <laughs> so I have this other sketchbook that I use, but I kind of gone through the entire thing. Oh, there's a couple blank pages. So I'm like, all right, time to get past the fear and get into the real stuff. Um, so I went up to the cafe and my first sketch was actually this one here okay so let me go ahead and um there we are mm. you can begin to see the, the line work a lot better that way okay yeah so i was sitting outside this little cafe so obviously this guy becomes me and I wanted to draw an image. I um, wanted to go and begin to compose a work because I felt the call to create a, a collection. And after talking to Bill, Bill's like, yeah, I think you should do some abstract painting, right? I'm like, yeah, I could, I'm digging that, so let me go try it. So this is my, my closest to abstract I can get. Um, and so I sat there on the chair I pulled out my phone. I started scrolling through my phone looking for all, you know, because I have 700 photos that I've taken since I've been here. I'm like, yeah, let's find something that'll be inspiring, that, that, that'll call to me, right? Right. And then I stopped and I thought, huh, I guess if I did that, I would just kind of be copying right now and not composing. And I'm looking to something in the past necessarily rather than being authentic. And so I said, put the phone away. And I kind of just sat there and shut my eyes, right? And this is what I'm doing a lot lately when I go to sketch. I quiet and I listen. Physically listen. I listen to the sounds that are around me. And, and as I hear a sound, I begin to try in my head put a line pattern to that sound. So for example, there were these birds um, sitting. I was sitting on this one, the one time I was sitting on this, book, this park bench, and I was just like there, and my arms were up here on the bench. The sun was here, it was like hitting me in the head and the chest. It felt so good. And I shut my eyes, and over here I could hear a bird, and the pattern was this little curve that was kind of going out. And it was getting, you know, bigger, the spacing on it. It's like, Right? I'm like, okay, that's cool. And then there was this other bird over here, but it wasn't calling out. It was almost like a protective, defensive type of wall sound. It's just what, you know, the way I imagined that that sound it was like these, these very regulated <laughs> type of noise. And if each sound was a mark, they weren't broadcasting out it was almost like a wall of sound around this little burp right and so I realized like in this image if you were going to paint this like how would you capture that sound how would you capture that vibration how would you articulate this bird in that it's different than this bird mm. its songs are different and then this bee came in and I could just feel it going in little ups and downs and its little sounds were what I call the palm tree. So if you imagine a, an image with palm trees and it's like chaotic looking, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But the sea and the land and the beach are very calm, right? Mm. So for some reason, that's what I always feel that I'm seeing is, is like these little palm trees, you know, when, uh, when the bees go by. And so I'm sitting there and I'm, feeling very, very content, very, very 
uh, solid. And I say, okay, if that's what I am, then, then that's what I am. So I start drawing some, hard, some vertical lines. And this is all I'm doing. So this is kind of a thrust echo map at the same time. And as I'm sitting there, I'm feeling very solid, very certain of myself, very safe, very in control of me. So almost every thought I'm drawing a line, right? And that's the vibrating energy of that part of the image, which ultimately will contain me. Hmm. And as I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, and so, but my mind is at, at peace. And so hmm. this is my mind. This is where ultimately I know my head will be up in this area. But my eyes are going off into the, into the, into the distance, right? I'm thinking far ahead, not just short. Hmm. And I'm thinking far ahead and I'm, at, and, I'm, and I'm strong. And yet I'm also sitting in the chair and I'm kind of with my little coffee, you know, feeling a little swagger come, come over me. And I'm like, oh yeah. So, so I just start, that, that, that's a nice diagonal. That's a nice diagonal, I said to myself, right? Boom. And then you run that diagonal, yeah. And then what, what I started doing is wherever I make a one diagonal, I just do it a, a 90, uh, degree angle to it because that's its um, uh, the reverse of it. Mm. And when I got to that point, I said, "Oh wow, that's kind of cool." You know, I see my arm, I mm -hmm. see my chair, I see my my head, and I mm. repeated that. And I see my little hat, and that's basically how it began to start to form. <clears throat> mm. But then I also realized that this place of peace that I was in and this place of confidence that I was in, and this place of swagger that I was in, it wasn't the world that I existed, it was like a bubble. And so I realized that it, it ends at some point. Uh. But the energy on the outside <clears throat> is, it's not that it's chaotic, it's just constantly moving, right? Mm. Right. And so ultimately what, ended up being created um, was this image, mm. okay? So you can see the verticals coming down, putting the dog to sleep. The dog mm. himself is, he's self-contained. He's just at rest. Mm. He's not mimicking anything else. He's just his own energy in that space. The mm. verticals, the diagonals, Verticals creating the store that's behind me that I get the coffee at. This little guy, a friend, popped out of out of those diagonals. Mm. <clears throat> the energy of the of this energy that this this constant moving that was on outside of this bubble mm. was conversations. Wow. And not only are the women are conversing, but the trees are conversing, and the sky is moving. Mm. And life is happening. Maybe one's pregnant. You know, there's there's community that's that's going on. And I'm just sitting here, maybe with my son or my brother or someone, just in our little world. Um. <clears throat> so. So. Um, so that's how I, I, I like you. That was so beautiful. Well, thank you. And that was so helpful to me to, uh, to, to understand how um, the spiritual tr is transformed into the material world and the different aspects of, you know, our experience. And, and, and that's where it's amazing what comes out of it when you do it something very truthful and authentic comes out. And so I didn't try to conjure up any representation. This is where my spirit is, 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 is in tune with, right? So, <clears throat> and, and now this image came up and people ask me like the one Portuguese guy, he's like, where'd you, where'd you, where'd you get this? I said, here. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, oh my God, he's like, I love this image, right? <clears throat> well, after looking at these, I noticed that there's this beautiful shape that's here. 
and then uh, and then um, and then here, and then here. And in seeing that, you could even go back and put a mountain in the back if you want to mimic it even more. Look at that, it's almost mm. like a beautiful flower or even like a womb or something, right? There's, mm -hmm. there's layers of conversation, of space that are going back and forth. And I was like, oh, wow. So, so from there, I decided, well, let me do it, an image of women uh, con con conversating. And so what I wanted to do was I started with that shape, the big connector shape kind of like a heart almost right and then i wanted to do another one and then another one and these aren't hearts i'm just you're just energy that's going out energy that's coming back in energy that's going out energy is going back in that's a conversation right um i went ahead and did this thanks to miss ruth <laughs> and had the vertical in the center right because i wanted the conversation and so ultimately, I envisioned just like those chairs looking at each other, Ruth. No, I, that, well, that's that's what I envisioned at first. I thought this was going to ultimately a, a group of women, just like in that little section, looking at each other. But as I started forming it, um, I started seeing these breaks, these these cool little gaps where the conversation would occur. And I said, Oh, she needs to be vertical. The center needs to be vertical. And then this curve came around here, inside of this straight vertical, and it was a little wider. And then this came up here, and I said, oh wait, the Varenish women, they have the things on the top of their heads, the baskets that they carry out. And so here's my dominant horizontal. And if I carry this through, this, this, this through here, we can have, then I started thinking of palm trees, right? or like a, a, a row of trees when you're looking out at the beach mm -hmm. and they, you know, you're behind them. So there's like walls of shadows, right? So when, when going through here, I start realizing like, oh, these are not the front of women. Uh, these are the backs of them. And, and ultimately that's how this came out. I love it. I love the right, the figure of the right woman. Her? You know, that one. Yeah, yeah, I just love it. So sculpted, so feminine, that twist. Just gorgeous. Yeah, and even up in her hair. and, and Yeah, I love her hair. That's you know, beautiful. And so what happens is these Varenish women, very strong women, very strong. They actually go when the boats come in. They don't use the cows like most people do. They use the women. And the women go out and grab the big anchors and drag the boats up onto the shore. Um, and so in here, you feel the conversation. You feel them waiting for the, the things to come in. You feel the heaviness and the weight. And yet you also feel that they're feminine and they're talking to each other, right? Um, yes. And, and yet when you look at it, all it is is repet repetitive lines, okay? I wanted you to feel the strength of these women. I mean, their necks have to be strong. Their backs have to be strong. Their legs have to be strong. They carry freaking huge baskets of fish on their heads. It's like warrior women, you know? <laughs> um, and yet they're women, they're beautiful. They're, there's grace to them. Mm -hmm. um, so we see maybe just a little bit of a face in here. So this one, and now there's a connection. So maybe this is the mama bear <laughs> and two of her daughters, two of her grandchildren. You know, here's another member of the family. These two are yeah. now talking to each other, you know. And, um, <clears throat> but I didn't sit there trying to think of the, of the representation or the image or the figures. I was just trying to understand the energy of that. Yeah, that's pretty. Um, so let's say you have a guy and he has two sons, you know. This is why it's important when you're talking to the Donna to have him tell stories. You know, I was dealing with one of my friends in Germany and she was questioning if she should be with this guy or not or if he's the one or whatever. And when she's in her head thinking like that, she can't make a decision. 
So somehow she started telling us, telling me this story about uh, him. And all of a sudden her, her face got lit up and she was bright red, you know. <laughs> And uh, I said, you know, T, I think you should leave him. And uh, she's like, what? what, 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 why? I said, well, because it's just wrong that he would make you feel so happy and such full of life and joy. And, and I mean, obviously when you tell stories about him, the love that you feel, it's just so wrong, you know? So, uh, <laughs> that was a joke, but, um, so there's something in storytelling that bypasses that overly logical worrisomeness. And, so get the people to tell some stories about themselves and their children and the interaction between them. And, um, and so if, if it happens and he says, yeah, you know, I remember this one time where, yeah, you know, uh, I was playing with the kids. All right. I was playing with the kids. That means he's engaged. Okay. So maybe he's engaged. Um, it, it, you know, he's not, he's, he's not distant. He's not pulled away. He's being, he's, he's not being uh, strong in the sense he's engaged. He's leaning into the children, you know? So how were the children acting in that time? You know, were they, were they happy? Were they, were they calm? Right. It's going to be a painting of, um, from what he told, <clears throat> he told me on the phone, his wife and two, two children. I think two daughters, but I'm not sure. And he said he's going to be bringing me some pictures. So he has a good sense of, um, you know, what, what it might take to do it together. Okay. So, so let's um, talk about that. If, let's say it's a wife and two daughters, right? Or in this case, it'd be a mom and two daughters, right? Right. Um, so the first thing that pops into my mind is how do you relate them besides, oh, they look like each other? How do you make them feel that they're related to? So, you know, like maybe you, you repeat a, a shape. So even at this, this energy level, you can tell that there's one that's bigger and two smaller ones, but they, right. they, they relate, they're related. You know, now right. maybe, maybe one is the, a little, little stronger than the other. Maybe one is the calm, calmer energy. Mm -hmm. Maybe the mom, you know, she has to go this way, and then she also has to go this way, and she, you know, but she's going this way. Whatever, you know. Um, yeah. <clears throat> and then when you do that, what you want, the key is also then to run those lines. that two verticals go all the way down. Right, so that they're connected to the, the, out, the, uh, the negative space or the space outside of them yep. is interwoven. So now if, the, if you put the hair of the mom here, well now you have some lines here that now help you. And by drawing her hair on those lines, you're actually activating the piece that's found in this one. Mm -hmm. by um <clears throat> by let's say bringing the hair up here on this one well now you're activating maybe there's a third one in the belly somewhere with the mom you know so you're connecting these things and again we're not getting into eyeballs and teeth or hair or fingers or anything like that at this point you're just <clears throat> capturing this energy. Um, right. I'm going to stop sharing now. I'm not sharing. I'm going to stop recording here. Um,